it's uh, it actually, uh, I found out this later. Uh, I'm proud to say of my heritage. Actually, Dr. Michael DeBakey, the heart specialist, who's Lebanese American, he started that mass unit in, uh, in Korea. And I didn't know this till later. I was at a doctor's office. And he said, Jamie, you know who was the original, uh, started the mass units? I said, no. They said, Dr. Michael DeBakey, the, uh, the heart specialist. What it is, is a bunch of, uh, in, the, in those days, they, what they did is they found that to save lives, what they would do is they'd have a surgical unit, doctors and nurses, with uh, some kind of facilities to operate and near the front so that soldiers who were wounded did not have to go all the way back someplace that close by they had the, the uh, uh, facility to look after them, to, to take the bullets out, to stop the bleeding, to perform operations, as they called it, meatball surgery. And MASH stands for Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. So they could move, they were in tents. And uh, a, a, a book was written, I'm trying to remember the gentleman's name, and then a movie was made. Uh, Ingo Preminger made the movie, and uh, uh, Robert uh, Altman uh, did, the, uh, did the, the, the directing of it. And I hadn't seen the film. Uh, so Gene Reynolds and Larry Gelbart thought this would be a great idea for a series. And they took it to William Self over at, at uh, 20th Century Fox. And one of the things that they were concerned about was that they would be in your home uh, every week, you couldn't show the blood and things that they did in the movie because I guess the movie was was uh, pretty explicit. They they showed all kinds of blood on their gloves and everything else, and things you could get away with, which you couldn't do uh, on on a TV series. And uh, the network was a little hesitant about it. They said, "Well, how do you do a show like that every week?" And uh, Larry Gelbart and Gene Reynolds said, well, well, we can do it. We'll, we'll figure it out. And they went to Alan Alda. They had seen Alan in a, uh, in a show, a TV show. And I think they knew of his work on Broadway. And they went to him. And Alan said, I'm interested as long as you don't make it Abbott and Costello at the front. And so uh, they said, no, we're going to try to touch on serious subjects and so forth. So they uh, put their cast members together. And I wasn't included in that because I wasn't in the pilot. And uh, they used the sets that uh, they had used at the ranch, which is not too far from where I live here, and uh, on Les Virginies at the old 20th Century Fox Ranch. They used the exteriors from that, and then they built the, uh, the interior, exterior set on stage nine at 20th Century Fox. Uh, one of the things that they did also is they tried to talk the network into not having a laugh track. And the network said, oh, no, no, we have to have a laugh track. But they said, what we will do is not have a laugh track in the operating room. So that's how they got away with, uh, with that. If you watch the show, uh, you'll see that the, all the quips going back and forth uh, over the operating tables that there is no laugh track. But the other areas they did have. And uh, the show uh, actually uh, uh, got okay reviews when it aired. Uh, it had terrible ratings. It was like number 58 or something like that out of 65 shows. It was on Sunday night opposite Wonderful World of Disney. And uh, they were going to cancel it. And uh, thank goodness, uh, at, that, at that time, Bill Paley, who was the chairman of CBS, was married to a lovely, lovely lady who we all called Babe, Babe Paley. And Babe Paley said, I like the show. And if the wife of the chairman of the network says they like the show and he wants to be in favor with his wife, you keep the show on. So thanks to Babe Paley, the show stayed on. They put it on Saturday night in the greatest lineup in the history of television. I can't give you the exact schedule it was, but I believe it was started with like All in the Family. I think, uh, was it Mary Tyler Moore, MASH, Bob Newhart Show, and Carol Burnett. And nobody left their homes. Uh, movie tickets were down, theater tickets were down, restaurant reservations were down. 
And uh, the way they would measure the Nielsen is like when a commercial went on, if people got up to go to the bathroom, the water level in the city would go down. And that's how they knew also that everybody was staying home to watch the, that great night on Saturday night. And that's, that's what saved MASH, actually, was that great lineup. It's never been duplicated. That was, I think that is the finest lineup in the history of television, that Saturday night.